Hello, hi, welcome back to the channel. We're back in TT Isle of Anne Ride on the H3. This is part two. You can keep track of your progress in the season by looking at the timeline in this menu. Each season is associated with a category. There is one category per season per save slot. You can play a season of each category in parallel and switch between them freely. I'm glad so many of you liked the previous video. So I say you can have so you can have the super bike season and the super sport season. I say is it separate saves and totally separate game. So obviously that's me, my player that I chose there, Gary Johnson, in the uh, triumph there at the top. So back on the map, so you get leaderboards. In this section, you can search for your best performance on each track and view other players' profiles best times and motorbike statistics. Select whichever options you want and start searching. So there's no point in me looking for any leaderboards, but uh, so you can choose tracks to search by. Uh, my name won't appear there because I haven't done any. So, so yeah, there's, so there's different categories you can check by tourist trophy and everything else like that, which is good. We can do custom events or multiplayer events. Change your track and then have different sections. So if you were doing the Snaefell mountain course, you do the different sections and change the settings, weather, competitors, AI skill. So we're going to do that. We're going to go into a little uh, custom event I'm going to set up here. going to choose a rider so you don't have to go because it's a custom event it's not part of your career so you can choose a different rider and a, hence a different bike so who should we go with this time james hillier what's he got he's got a Yam yamaha is there a qualifying session so you can set up your bike so obviously this is me at the bottom you can set up the bike so if you had stuff to spend on the bike I think you can soup the bike up with stuff so you can look at the live timings because the actual time on the top board might not be accurately representing what's actually happening live the track map you can view the track and from there you'll be able to see what riders you won't be able to see which riders but you can see there are riders on you'll be able to see there are riders on the track itself so let's give it a little go I see I'm using um, manual gears and the clutch on the left shoulder button Not sure how well we're going to do with this, so let's give it a go anyway. So we're obviously heading out of Douglas here. You can see on the bottom right there are my electronic aid settings on the bike. So this is a new bike for me. Oh, a bit of a big right hand turn coming up here. So shift down the gears, maybe a bit early there. All good so far. So another big left-handed company. You can see there's a rider bubbles there. Then the little mini map on the bottom left, we've got a little purple arrow ahead. That's another rider. Going past the church and the event flag there. The crowds, which are again well done. So I should have checked and saw how many lo how far this was, but I don't think it's too far, it's just a few miles. Taking a bit too easy around this bit here. Right, getting some speed up now, 120, 130 miles per hour. 
the sixth. Ben coming up, probably slip it down into the fifth here. And that wall. So I guess a good gauge of how well we're doing is if we catch up with the other riders who obviously got released before us. I believe. Bit of, a, oh, bit of a wobble there on the gear, gear change there. Going to the third here. Oh, I'm off. Oh, I've been overtaken now. I'm just going to stick with this view just because I know I'll get better times with this view, really. So, how did we do? We came 9th out of 10th there with that run. You can do several runs. We've got the AI skill up to 50%, I should say. Uh, 10 competitors, weather clear. 15 minutes of qualifying. So you can't really skip the quality. You can't say, let's speed it up and stuff. There's no need to speed it up. So anyway, here we are in the race proper. On the actual race itself, as the caption says. I've uh, edited it down a little bit, speed up the a bit. So, yeah, I've changed some of the all electric on the electronic aids down to setting two and everything I think that is. So here we are, get a tap on the shoulder. Here we go, holding clutch. Slight wheelie, come on. Going past the grandstand here at Douglas. Let's hope I stay on. Yeah, there's no way to skip through the, um, the qualifying and the practice because if you say skip, like happened there, I think I actually got a bit higher than 9th and 10th. But if you seem to skip, it just puts you at the back, I think. So that's the cost of doing that. Use that big right hand there. Turn that. And again, if I, if I catch somebody, I'll know I'm doing well. Past the church. Anyway, a little later on, and this is me doing the replay in the helmet can view, I believe it is. Just so you get a taste of what it's really like. And the fourth. And the third. Yeah. The onboard bike sounds are pretty good, I think. It be too loud to be heard behind you. the helmet, maybe. Oh, 
40, now we know we're capable of 150 on this. We're going to make the 150, and we're getting close to it. Yeah, there's 153, 154, 153, whoa, and that is where I came off. So we're continuing this view. Obviously not going to win. Hey, it's early days. And the onboard camera views, which is going to be pretty good. right in there. Ah, oh, this is the helmet view. Yes, it sounds is muffled there, obviously. It wasn't in the helmet can view before. Shows electronic is there on the dash, doesn't it? Yeah, two 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 two. Towards the end now. So we didn't win. In fact, we were last. 